coming to you from Cali High. My name is Megan Green, and this here is the Tideline newspaper staff. Today, we're here to inform, debate, and most importantly, show you, our viewers, how crucial it is to get involved. We are the youth of America, and now we finally have a voice. We're using ours. Now, why don't you do the same? We're now going to look at some of our leading Democratic presidential candidates. Let's look at Barack Obama. Senator Barack Obama is currently one of the leading Democratic candidates in the presidential election. During the summer of 2007, he was nearly 20 points behind his top opponent, Senator Hillary Clinton. Recently, Senator Obama made history in Iowa by becoming the first African American ever to win a major party presidential primary. The fact that 96% of Iowans are white shows that unlike previous African American presidential contenders, Obama appeals to varied segments of the electorate. Many attribute his win to his, ability to, to his ability to use words eloquently, to unite people, and to inspire. Others are attracted to his message of hope and change. Obama finished a close second to Senator Clinton in the recent New Hampshire primary. Obama stands for affordable, high-quality health care, ending the war in Iraq, modernizing Social Security, and lowering taxes. Obama believes he can unite America and change America for the better, signified by his slogan, Yes, We Can. I believe Obama can do it. Do you? Now we'll hear about Hillary Clinton. Clinton believes that she can raise us to a pedestal by strengthening our democracy, providing affordable and accessible health care, fighting global warming, and finally ending the war in Iraq. Hillary Clinton wants us to wants to use her competitive edge to bring things out from the gutter and get us back on the map of places to respect. Stay tuned for what is to be sure a nail-biting year that is sure to have you yelling at the poor Anchorman on television. Now let's look at John Edwards. John Edwards recently became the second place Democratic candidate in the Iowa caucus and the third place candidate in the New Hampshire primary. He was inaugurated as senator in 1998 and ran as John Kerry's vice president in 2004. He supports many educational initiatives such as expanding federal aid for his college and increasing salaries for teachers in high um, poverty schools. He also believes in the right to choose and same-sex civil unions, though he does not endorse same-sex marriages. He has often voted against big business and has stated that he will work to take power away from the big corporate interests who have taken over the democracy. His foreign policy plan includes steadily withdrawing troops from Iraq and fighting global poverty. Let's go to Ariel to see how the Democratic race is coming along. Hillary Clinton is currently leading in national polls. Clinton won with 39.1% of the vote in New Hampshire, due largely to support from women. Meanwhile, Barack Obama won in Iowa with 37.6% of the vote. 